back in that bag in that bag again. So groovy girls, you join me today to do a spring clean. Obviously it's that time of year, but also I'm actually moving out. Definitely downsizing, because obviously I live in a three bed now and I'm moving to a smaller place. So we need to get rid of some stuff. So I'm just basically gonna go through everything today. If you do wanna buy anything from this video, I have a feeling a lot of this stuff will probably go to charity or my little sister. But sadly, my nieces aren't old enough to wear this stuff yet. But then the rest is yours, guys. I'm just a bit of a hoarder. I'll buy something and even if I don't wear it within the first six months, I'm like, it's just because of the weather. I'm definitely gonna wear it and it might change my style. But no, we really need to do this because I'm going traveling in a year and I need to definitely downsize all of my belongings. So we're gonna be thorough. If I didn't wear it last summer and if I haven't worn it in the last six months, then I'm gonna get rid. Obviously, it's coming into summer now and when I move next year, it's gonna be majority hot weather where I'm traveling around. I'm just doing like Australia, Asia and everything. So I'm not gonna need big winter coats, but I do have winter coming this year, obviously. So I have these. I got these from Amazon and they weren't actually that expensive. I think it was like 11 pound for nine or something. So they're vacuum packs for anyone that hasn't seen them. I'm just gonna vacuum pack a lot of stuff into my bed. Like I'm such a hoarder. We did this a few years ago in my London flat and it was called Making Myself a Minimalist. Basically what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna try and achieve anyway. <laughs> I am gonna be trying a lot of the items on towards the end of the video. So if you're just here for that, then skip to the end, I guess. I'll put a timestamp on the screen and then at least you can see what they look like on if you have the same body type as me. I, for reference, am a size eight on the top. I do have small boobs, so sometimes I fit into a six, but I've been putting weight on recently. So I am like an eight, sometimes maybe even slightly. 10. And then on my bottoms, I'm a small slash medium. Depends on the fit that I want, but yeah. These bad boys, they barely open. Okay, I just accumulate these things. And I'm not really the type of person to go out shopping, but if it comes up to an occasion, I'll do like a big online shop for no reason. And that's probably every, I'd say every four months, I'd probably do just a big shop. I also, I'm really lazy and never be bothered to send stuff back. Hence why there are literal items with tags in my drawer. Or I'll just give them to my little sister because that is just so much easier. Do you know what? I'm going to start with this top. And I would wear this. I'd wear it with the outfit that I've got on now. But I definitely got this about seven months ago and I haven't worn it. I do have to be really thorough. I think I'm literally just going to chuck it all on a big pile on the floor. Should we do it? I'm about to be excited. That's actually really pretty. Let me just show you the floor. There's so much green. Okay, let's keep going. I haven't worn this for a while outside. This is gorgeous and I loved it so much. I think I wore it once in Australia and it's fairly new. So cute. This just is gonna kind of give you an idea of the type of clothes that I have in my wardrobe. I'm also gonna get rid of this. I just don't think it's my style anymore, but it's really cute. It like folds down at the front like this. It's actually adorable, but yet again, never worn it. This I would love to say <laughs> is my style, but let's admit guys, it just isn't. Super cute for all you glamorous girlies though. Now that I've got my hair red again, I'd like to say I'm gonna keep it. However, I bought them both for new years like two years ago so that has a matching skirt if you do fancy checking that one out this is from brandy i also just don't wear this ever another fucking tag another tag see this is what i do this is from an order from two years ago and i haven't worn it for two years so that means this has to go sort yourself out <laughs> super cute just not really keen on the color oh my god i'm actually getting rid of quite a bit oh my god i used to live in this top going through your wardrobe is like so nostalgic and i definitely relate certain memories with certain clothes like this for example reminds me of when me and anna went to film the podcast with i'm alex definitely keeping that love it i'm gonna get rid of the little tops it's coming up to summer so you guys can have a field day with all of this fun fact i actually dyed this and I really think it's cute. It was white, so I just dyed it green. There is like a little mark on it from where the dye didn't fully dissolve, but this top's from Zara and I actually think I made it better. This is adorable. I've only worn it once. Has why do you do these things? This definitely going. It looks like a bandana. I've tried to wear it as a bandana, but it doesn't work. It's actually a top. However, I don't really like what I look like without straps. This is from So Sorel. I bought this to go on holiday with, I think. Or it was leading up to my birthday. And it's a cover-up and a bikini top. And it also comes with a skirt. So it is something you wear out. Oh my god, I'm gonna get rid of this, but I just know you guys are gonna absolutely kill it. I think I'm gonna get rid of the corset, guys. I only wore it once and I haven't worn it again. Defo getting rid of the H&M denim, sad, but 
it can go to a better home. The straps always fall down when I wear this because it's just too big. I don't have the cleavage to fill this out, so that's also going. This is from PLT. Adorable. Just again, not my vibe. I think I buy clothes and pretend I'm something I'm not to try and change my style, and then I never end up buying it. Oh, I'm getting rid of this orange. Again, Zara. Oh my god. I'm literally getting rid of everything that's expensive. What am I doing? Actually, super cute. It's a really good material. I've just worn it once. This is also from So Sorel. I've just never had a use for it. It comes with a skirt, so I'll put both of those up on there as well. This I love, but too big for me. Wow cute is that? God, that's from misguided. That's from the past, guys. I'm not actually keeping that many clothes. I've got rid of loads. Keep calm and carry on. This, um, I also haven't worn. My giving away pile is actually bigger than my key. This is a good thing, Has. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a really good thing. This is my get rid. That sad little pile over there is what I'm keeping. I'm trying not to cry. I also have sorted out a massive bag prior to this. We have some trousers that the length of them I'm not really too happy about. Really cute with boots if you're a boots gal. I'm not really a boots the house down per kind of gal right now. These are some gorgeous. They'd be perfect for work actually if you go into meetings quite a lot. These are from Motel and they're such a nice fit. They don't fit me anymore because I put on weight. We then have this bag. Oh, she's really cute. I can't wear these. Oh, they're the wrong way around. Ever. It's just not my life. I'm not a glamorous girly and I need to stop trying to be. Oh my god. I wore this for my 21st birthday and it is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. The rest of the stuff in here I'm probably going to do mystery packages for because I have a stuff like this which is from White Fox. However, I just personally don't think it would sell on its own. It's a four piece dress but it looks like a two piece. Do we think this should sell? by itself i think so this is my whites blacks grays neutrals drawer this drawer makes me sad because i feel like all of it is so nice i just never wear it and i really really neglect neutrals i say this sat in neutrals but this is so many clothes no yes 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 nope yes Yes, this is so hard. Nope, no. Yes, she's gotta go. This was a long sleeve top, but I didn't like how it dug into my armpits, so I cropped it. So I'm gonna go through this wardrobe and the chest of drawers off camera because, guys, I know you don't wanna see this. You wanna get to the good stuff. You wanna see me trying it all on. And as of right now, there is so much. But do you know what? It has to be done, and I'm feeling good about it because I've already got rid of, I'd like to say, about 50 to 70 items. So I'm gonna have a lot more room, which. That relieves me. So I'm gonna do this off camera and I will see you in just a sec. So it is in fact the next day. I had so much stuff to show you guys. So I organized it all, made sure it at least a little bit goes with what I'm wearing top to bottom. And I'm doing it this way so you can see the full fit. I do have shoes on, these are just quite long so you can't really see them. I'm not gonna be styling them, but it's just to give you a rough idea of what they look like against certain colors. So I'd probably wear this top with a light jean. And I am also selling these jeans. I've just never reached for them in my wardrobe. But they are a bit of a statement. I love them so much. I've decided that I'm just going to do mystery packages because there is far too many clothes for me to take individual photos of and it would just be such an easier process. If you do want to shop the mystery parcels and nab one for yourself then obviously a lot of the stuff I'm going to be showing could be in the parcels. So if you head over to my bio the link will be there. I'm not sure if I'm doing it on Depop or Vintage yet but I guess you'll see. <laughs> I'm not too sure if I'm going to do it on Depop or Vintage so definitely check down below but this is two examples of the items that could be in there. I'm just putting these jeans on because a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be wearing won't go with those jeans. I'm just putting these on. I'm not selling these. These are actually my favorite jeans. So I'll just pair some stuff with that. Let's just get trying on some clothes. Before I tie this, I just want to show you how interesting this top is. So it literally is like a massive bit of fabric and you can do it however you want. If you want to tie it like that and then you can bring it round again. Oh my God, this is really cute. So this is option numero uno, but there's so many that you can do with this top. Wow. I'm actually really sad I'm getting rid of this. This is really cute. Next, we have this milk made kind of vibe. I'm getting rid of this because I just don't really have the cleavage to fill it out but I think it's so cute and so summery which is so perfect for the season. It sadly isn't really my style but definitely could be yours. We then have this incredibly gorgeous gorgeous top it's an incredible material i don't know if you can even see it's very slinky very skims vibe i don't like wearing this because i'm a small chested gal itty bitty titty committee and this part really digs into my ribs here whereas if you have bigger boobs 
this will be lifted off your chest so you won't have that problem. We then have this shirt for all you boss babes out there and I've had this a few years. I've only worn it twice. Just don't really grab for it, but it's super cute if you did want to do it all the way up like I have with maybe some boots, knee high socks kind of vibe and a blazer or you can wear it open in summer just as a bit of like an over jacket. That's what I've done quite a few times. You can wear it off the shoulder. I honestly love this piece, but she must depart. This won't fit me but um it's a lovely little milkmaid top yet again this is again a little bit too tight for me because i put a bit of weight on which i'm super happy about and it also has an adjustable strap if you did you know have a bit more cleavage but this is from opoly and again never really worn it but this is such a gorgeous top but i'm really insecure about my shoulders and i usually like them to be covered up or at least have some straps on and it's just because i've got a really bad posture but you can tie it like this or you can spin it around and make it your own i have tried this is a bandana in my hair but i think my hair is too short so if you have long hair it also could work as a bandana and i also know there's many ways to tie this top but the choices are endless really this one you may think is just a simple cute top but it's actually business in the front part in the back i love this so much the most adorable top in all the land look at this she's so summery and so cute I love her a lot, but I'm just unsure if yellow is my colour. I'm unsure how to show you this one, really. But this is the back. And then, without showing too much, this is the front. So, it's a cute little crop blazer. You can obviously wear it with a bra and have it open. Or if you're brave enough, then you can literally just titty tape it. I wish my boobs sat like that, but sadly they don't. <laughs> with the pair of smart trousers, I honestly think this is such a look. So now we're on to dresses. I have so many more trousers and tops, but I just feel like it's quite samey samey. Whereas the dresses, they need a moment of its own. This on holiday... <sighs> I believe this is from So Sorrel, which I love their clothes so much. And I've got a few pieces of theirs in here because I rinsed them in summer. And as we're coming up to summer, I thought chucking some cute little summer dresses in would be the best idea. I know you can see my pants, but you are supposed to wear this with a bikini or pants that aren't grey. <laughs> it's completely adjustable. You can tie these if you want to. It literally is just a bikini back. I'm just going to put that there because you can see my bum. <laughs> so you can also do the skirt like this on the side. You can have it ruched. That is completely up to you and your preference. I feel really insecure in this, so I'm going to take it off. But um, this is the red version. So this dress I wore once in Ibiza and I literally had so many compliments, but I haven't reached for it since. I feel like it just makes you feel so good in your body. I've just paired it with these Zendaya boots from Public Desire. This is such a cute fit. It's got the flared sleeves, slits in on the side, and it's literally just held together by these two buttons. I feel like it provides the illusion that your waist is smaller than it actually is. I've just kept the boots on to show you. Probably wouldn't pair it like this, but at least you know what it looks like when paired. I'd probably go for a little kitten heel, maybe with some trainers. I wore this to Park Life two years ago. Definitely not my style anymore, but it might be for you ravers. I love this dress. But between me and you, I've never really felt very confident in it. So I think this is from White Fox. I do forget, but very Santorini holiday vibes, which I think is actually what I bought this dress for, but I didn't end up wearing it. This was my New Year's outfit two years ago as well. I will admit. I loved it. And I also got it in another color. I also got it in red. So I'll show you that now. I look like a bit of mistletoe, but this is the red color. Compared to the green, I just love this slit. I think it's so sexy. And you can obviously put it up. I just don't have the facilities, so I just do off the shoulder. So I actually need to go out now. Um, I need to go meet my friend. But if you do want to see anything else, just comment down below. Say dresses, tops, crop tops, blazers, literally anything. Maybe some cupboards. That might be quite nice for you guys to see. I highly doubt this stock is going to get shifted within the first week. So yeah, I can definitely film some more try-ons. And if there's anything individually you want, then message me on Instagram and I can keep it aside for you. It just saves like doing separate listings on Depop because guys, there's literally like 250 items here and I'm quite lazy. <laughs> okay, I love you all so, so much.